the biggest mode of google gemini models it's their video understanding and it has just gotten further better and i can assure you that there is no other model that can do video processing as good as gemini 2.5 and this gemini 2.5 pro gemini 2.5 flash recently had a huge update and that is regarding video understanding there are multiple different benchmarks and across all these benchmarks gemini 2.5 pro the latest one that was released couple of days back sets the new state of the art benchmark i'm not going to bore you with these benchmarks but the main understanding is that gemini 2.5 pro and gemini 2.5 flash sets new state of the art result for video understanding and when i mean video understanding it is not just understanding the audio that is embedded within the video it is rather understanding the video like literally the image frames within the video and also the audio clip that is associated with the video and it's impressive what it can do and i'm going to show you a couple of demos first if we were to just quickly explore the demos that google has given us one important thing is you can upload a video and then ask gemini to give you highlighted moments or distinct segments like important segments it can look at the video it can look at the audio and then it can give you a really highly accurate important segments like timelines and the next thing is what they call as temporal reasoning so you can upload a video footage and ask questions regarding what it sees not what just it listens so for example in this case they've uploaded a video and then asked a simple question how many scenes show the main character using their phone in this video and it exactly precisely counts the number of scenes where the main character uses a phone in the video now if you're fascinated by this imagine what you can do when you couple this video understanding with also programming abilities and that is where they've created a new application called video a learning application so this application is already available within gemini 2.5 and this was created by arun wade i don't know if he works for google or if he's like somebody external but it's very fascinating to see this so you can go to gemini ai studio google ai studio i'll link this one in the youtube description within the starter app you can see video to learning app what i did is i pasted the link of a veritasium video which is about protein folding i made sure that i uploaded a video that i have completely seen so that i can understand whether it is hallucinating or not so this is a video about protein folding in fact the title of the video just simply says the most what useful if? a thing ai has ever done and then it just goes into the details about alpha fold uh, talking to you know google deep mind uh, researchers and you know the couple of guys who got nobel prize and a bunch of other things so this was a fascinating video but what i wanted to see is when i upload this what this is going to build like what kind of application it is going to build so first it extracts the video and then understands and creates a spec okay the spec here is the build an interactive web app to help a learner understand the basics of protein folding it gives the specification and it says what it has to be then it codes and then it renders within this environment and you get to see this very fascinating video uh, demo so this is the demo of what it learned from the video and i mean like i can't stop thinking but you know how it might transform education as we know it so for example if you are a if you are a student in a village you wouldn't get a very high quality teacher no disrespect to the school but that is the state of education in a lot of developing countries now all you have to do is if you learn something today you can take the video put it in this particular application or you can create better application than this and then it will create a demo for you in a couple of minutes and that's it you can interactively play whether it is a new physics concept or a chemical equation something related to Uh, organic chemistry in organic chemistry reactions all these things you can just immediately learn with interactive demo using this one this is the power of video understanding plus programming and i would like to show you a live demo of it so i went to youtube and i just took a video so this video is about newton's third law you might have seen this video multiple times so i took this particular video i went to google ai studio then uploaded this video so i'll i'll also show you one more demo after that i just said describe this video so it's thinking about it i've selected gemini 2.5 pro as a model so it takes a bit of time to think because it's a heavier model so it says this video captures a classic physics demonstration by professor walter lewin and one interesting fact is that professor lewin wearing a vibrant multicolored shirt walks onto the stage and approaches a red tricycle so now when i went to the video i could see a red tricycle i could see vibrant colors So what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a follow up question. I said, 
can you tell me the colors in professor's shirt so it says professor lubin is wearing a distinctive color blocked button up shirt main colors visible are yellow on his left sleeve okay so you can see yellow on his left sleeve and then orange left front panel of the shirt so i think this is orange and then you can see a center placket a tie area and his right sleeve which is blue so you can see blue and uh, right front panel of his shirt which is pink and light magenta pink and light magenta and then finally it has got purple and dark magenta i don't know if it is there i think it just got the directions wrong like right and left but everything else in this is particularly accurate and it's so fascinating that you can upload a video and get this processed for you i mean all these benchmarks are really useful i think it's all very impressive about what youtube or google has done with this particular case obviously because they've got huge youtube training data maybe my video is also part of the training data but the fact that you can just upload a video and then get these answer is super fascinating and this is how you do it click chat and uh, you have multiple different ways to upload either you can upload a video video as it is give access to your camera and record it or you can just go ahead and then just upload a youtube video so i'm going to just go pick a very very simple youtube video that just says newton's third law okay and uh, we are going to just ask some questions okay in this so i want to maybe first upload this video and then say describe this video upload youtube video give the youtube video url add to the prompt describe let's select a different model in this case just to make it easier for us 2.5 flash preview describe this video this is 61000 token so it's going to take some bit of time for us to for it to process the video and then get back to us like i said before gemini doesn't only process the audio like the voice over or whatever it is there it also process the video clips the images the frames within itself so it's it's double the processing of what you would typically see so you can see here it is doing the thinking it is doing all those things it is giving you the detailed uh, information this is a ted ed video featuring simple handwritten animations on a textual background explains newton's third three laws of motion using analogy of riding a bicycle okay so this is all good and uh, nice so i want to just ask when uh, you can see action is equal to reaction there is a demo and i want to see what is the color of the bouncy ball okay so i think it's red in color uh, if i don't have the subtitle so let's see what is the color of the bouncing ball and also if possible give me a time stamp where newton plus bouncing ball was there so i'm trying to expect it to give me red as a color and give me some kind of a time stamp something like 212 for it to exactly tell me when this thing is happening on that particular video we are not trying to do anything fancy here simply understanding it so you can see color of the bouncing ball is red okay very well and good newton is shown holding the bouncing ball approximately from 207 to 211 so you can see 207 i don't think anything is there 211 okay somewhere in the middle you can see here 29 to 10 newton is holding the red color bouncing ball it's so fascinating it i, I mean like honestly speaking youtube is so rich with video i think google is the only company that can probably do this unless until they decide to license like the separate youtube part of the business decides to license their video content to other companies like open ai but otherwise this is super fascinating this is the biggest moat that gemini models have got and very few people have been building on top of it if you are trying to build a product around it i think this is something that not a lot of people are doing and gemini 2.5 video understanding comes in both google ai studio google gemini api and also vertex ai this is a bit of confusing thing if you are a google developer so if you are trying to do anything prototype you should use gemini api if you are trying to do anything production use vertex ai and also the most fascinating thing is gemini api also offers something called a low media resolution parameter enabling gemini 2.5 pro that means it can process 6 hours worth of video with 2 million token context so imagine you want to process cctv footage like retail analytics like you have got a supermarket you want to see when people are touching a product when people are seeing what are they seeing this is so fascinating the amount of things that you can do and the accuracy trade off is not huge this is going to be extremely useful for long video understanding use cases 
also thanks to the long context window that Gemini model support. I'm very fascinated to see this. I'd love to hear from you if you also think that this is a fascinating thing. See you in another video. Happy prompting.